Fire Station 34 has responded to more than 100 rescues off this mountain in the past two years, near the corner of Navajo and Gulf Crest in San Carlos. A common injury we see on this mountain, uh, people like to run the mountain, go up and down it. Slipping is a uh, very common injury. You'll see uh, arm injuries, ankle, leg injuries. And timing is key to getting an injured person to the hospital, so the department is fully equipped to handle any emergency from the ground or air. Then this bag right here, what we have is a trauma bag. That's going to be your basic dressings. Um, maybe a sling and swath if someone injures their arm or their shoulder, and a tourniquet if someone has significant bleeding. This three-wheel assist basket is used when a helicopter can't get to the mountain. As people spend their last few days enjoying the trail, this area will undergo a major refurbish to make it last longer. We've worked with some Eagle Scouts to improve the trail, and uh, they can only take it so far. It appears that the rocks are getting slick, it's getting slippery, and uh, I think for the sake of the mountain and the safety of the people, it, it's time. I climb almost every day. Paul George says, Many hikers have created their own unofficial path along the trail. You put a fence up and people go right around it immediately or they tear the fence down. That's where the two-month restoration project comes in to repair the main trail and restore the unofficial worn-out areas. It does make it more accessible for more people, which is the plus, but the negative is that they, they put fence up and take rock formations down, and so it's give and take. There are three other trails that lead to the mountain, and George says... I'm going to be climbing up, possibly up Barker's Trail. We just want to advise people it's very steep, and it's also um, got loose dirt. So the slipping hazard's are um, pretty great there, so just to use caution. Rangers know it will be difficult to keep people off Coles Mountain during restoration, but they put up lots of signs to alert the public. This trail will be closed beginning Monday through May 17th.